Good morning this Thursday the 25th of July. I'm Grady Wolf, market analyst with Bell Direct. Wall Street crumbled on Wednesday as underwhelming results out of two of the tech mega caps weighed on investor sentiment around valuations at the current levels across the board. The Dow Jones fell 1.25% on Wednesday while the Nasdaq and S&P 500 had their worst session since 2022 with each of the indices tumbling 2.31% and 3.64% respectively. Shares in Google parent company Alphabet fell 5 percent on Wednesday despite the tech giant beating on the top and bottom line expectations for Q2. Investors may have sold out of Alphabet after YouTube advertising revenue came in below expectations for the period. Tesla shares tanked 12.3 percent on Wednesday for the EV giant's worst session since 2020 on weaker than expected results and a 7 percent year-on-year decline in auto revenue as appetite for EVs around the world continues to decline. Across the European markets overnight markets also closed in the read as investors digested the latest results of release of corporate earnings results. The stock 600 fell 0.6%, Germany's DAX lost 0.92%, the French CAC declined 1.12% and in the UK the FTSE 100 ended Wednesday's session down 0.17 per cent. Deutsche Bank shares fell, point, uh, fell over 8 per cent sorry, on Wednesday after the bank has snapped a 15-quarter profit streak in the latest quarter, while LVMH shares fell 4.7 per cent on Wednesday after the luxury fashion house missed second quarter revenue expectations. Markets across Asia closed lower on Wednesday, tracking the global market sell-off with Hong Kong's Hang Seng falling 1.1 per cent, while China's CSI declined 0.1 0.63% and Japan's Nikkei ended the day down 1.11%. The local market eased on Wednesday to post a 0.1% loss tracking Wall Street's negative close on Tuesday and as local energy and REIT stocks weighed on the key index during the midweek session. Red 5 and em- Emerald Resources were the best performers on the ASX 200 on Wednesday with each posting a gain over 6% tracking the rising price of gold. Australia's Judo Flash Manufacturing PMI data out yesterday indicated a slight growth in manufacturing PMI for July from 47.2 points in June to 47.4 points in July, which beat economists' expectations of a dip to 47 points flat. As input costs increased at a softer pace than average while selling prices rose slightly. Australia's Judo Flash Services PMI Business Activity Index data was also released yesterday and came in at a decline to 50.8 points in July from 51.2 points in June, which fell short of economists' expectations of a slight decline to 50.9 points. The services PMI reading fell in July as the sector faced a renewed decline in orders amid decreased client demand and a drop in international business in FY20 oh, in 2020. 24, sorry. Flight Centre shares fell almost 5% on Wednesday after the travel agent revised its underlying profit before tax downwards expectations to the expected range of $316 million to $324 million for FY24, which notably excludes circa $4 million in trading losses for the Discover Central Americas or DCA business that Flight Centre decided to close. On the commodities front this morning, oil is trading 0.02% higher at $77 US dollars and 45 cents a barrel. Gold is down 0.52% at $2,395 US dollars an ounce. And iron ore is down 0.27% at $108.16 US dollars a tonne. The Aussie dollar has further weakened overnight to buy 65.79 US cents, 101.18 Japanese yen, 51.88 British pence and one New Zealand dollar and 11 cents. Ahead of Thursday's trading session here in Australia, the SPY futures are anticipating the ASX to open the day down 0.95%, tracking the global market sell-off overnight. And now let's dive into some trading ideas for your consideration this Thursday. Bell Potter has increased the rating on Pantoro from a hold to a buy and maintain a 10 cents per share 12 month price target on the West Australian Gold Production and Development Company following the release of the company's June quarter update, which included a second consecutive quarter of record production for the Norseman Gold project. Bell Potter's analyst sees recent share price depreciation, Pantoro's unhedged gold leverage to the rising gold price, and production growth in FY25 as reasons for the upgrade to a buy. And Trading Central has identified a bearish signal on Lendlease following the of a pattern over a period of 19 days, which is roughly the same amount of time the share price may fall from the close of $6 to the range of $5.15 to $5.30, according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that is all for this Thursday. Have a great day and happy investing.